Hi guys, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are gonna do some nice autumn nails, have a preview of them in here. Nothing over the top and I hope you really love watching this tutorial. Uh, so if you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe as there is lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Let's start! I think this set will go perfect for autumn time. So I've got my tips ready and I'm actually going to do a full set because uh, on each nail we'll do a slightly different design. 183 which is our black gel polish. And then using the D-liner uh, brush we are going to start doing some uh, work with it. So on this finger I'm gonna paint some triangle at the top. This is actually a set where you want to hold your breath. <laughs> And then I'm gonna do like a line which will look like a smile line. And another triangle or actually no make it rhombus shape so basically you kind of starting with some line work and then you keep adding more as you go and color it in Add more line work. So these ones are looking like a triangles. And then on the bottom, just a wee line. Give it a cure. On the middle one, we are going to go more rounded. color like almost half a moon shape and then just color it in My dog is unbelievable. He can be, he would stay away from us like the entire time. Once we press the play button to record, he will just run in here and give a funny noise. It's so funny. Okay, and then I'm going to do it some V 
this shape color it in usually i show you the design on like one two or three fingers today i decided to do it five of them because each of it is slightly different obviously you could make you could make them all the same but i think it's just fun to create it so many different ones Okay, and then we are gonna do another line and cure it okay middle finger so on the middle finger i'm gonna play with some triangles as well i have left the empty space just to balance it out Because I need to first of all kind of draw it so I can see it where I am. To find the middle. There we are. And now I can just color it in and thicken it up. Not an easy task to paint, like paint straight line on a curved tip. So it's almost like you have to make it at once straight to be straight. <laughs> And then another triangle, so just like a V line and V line. Then thicken it up. Find the middle and paint the rhombus shape. Color it in. And cure it. Okay, grab another needle. And on this one, I'm gonna go pick up the middle. Okay. 
I suggest you start thinner, like uh, so you've got some room for improvement. Okay, again, pick up the middle. And then make it more even. And the line. Cure it. I'm actually gonna skip it fun because it will take us too long, probably. Or maybe not. Okay, let's do the fun as well. gonna grab more gel on the thumb big rhombus shape color it in Sorry, I couldn't talk through painting this line. The less you talk, the better. <laughs> Again, the curvature of the tip, you have to kind of straighten up the line. If you want to be able to paint the lines as well, like you could see it, my brush was splitting, so you want to straighten it up. Okay, and we've got the fan. Give it a cook. Then let's move on into the next step. So we are going to grab uh, the base gel. Because all about the set is the bling. So base gel. And I do really like to work with the base gel when it comes to the crystals. Um, 
I think also if we go, no, maybe we will go for AB crystals. Ah, I've got dilemma. We definitely want to go for maybe rose gold. Yes, let's do rose gold. Um, so grab an old brush so we can stick some crystals in. I definitely want something in here and in there. I don't know where I want to place more crystals, so I will be kind of adding them on as we go. And I do definitely see it the, from the gold studs, the ones which are definitely going to go is this one here. It's almost like screaming to me. You have to use me. So here is the one. I also on this one want another one because it's just fitting in perfectly in here. And then we want something in the middle here. I can see those rounded shapes should do too. But I'm not sure yet. So basically what I'm doing is I'm picking it up and then checking how this is fitting in into my design. I think it looks great. So I'm gonna freeze it and pick up another tip. Okay. On this one, I've got the slightly different kind of type of the construction, but I do really liked my long crystal. So I'm going to slap it at own as well, which is there. I'm just going to throw a couple of them. And again, the best place to fit it at in is where you've got your triangle shape. So just in there. Okay, but then we also need something on the top in here. And I'm checking what I've got. Uh, ideally, that wouldn't go. Uh, maybe this one. Again, I don't know how this is going to fit in, but I feel like it is probably the right choice. More base gel. And yes, it was the right choice. On the top, because we've got those rounded surface, I'm gonna hold on and don't do, oh no, maybe. I'm not gonna hold on. There we are. Just so it goes with the other ones too. That just fits in perfectly here. And then freeze it. Okay, let's go back to this one and now I can see it what else I could um, place it there. Uh, so what we could do is we could apply we could apply something here. Like definitely I want something there. And the choice I've got is because it's an auto me set, I think maybe we should use those ones. Because we've got um, all sorts of different colors of those crystals, actually. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm actually, This is going to be a wee preview. So um, we're playing with some Christmas stuff coming out as well. It's scary how quick the time came up. Uh, but they come in different colors. So for this Otumi uh, one, I'm just going to grab it. Um, those uh, gold crystals. Okay, just find the right spot for them. I could do one in here, one in there. And 
and then I'm searching for the smaller ones this one is smaller that one is even better I've got actually somewhere the we tray where I could pick them up And this, oh no, that's a large one. Got it here and got it there. <laughs> More base gel. Now straight away I could see it, you know what, it was too large, so I'm swapping a small crystal with the large one, and I prefer it. Now I can also add one more. Oh, I've got it here, here, here. Just on the side. That's as much better. So sometimes you kind of don't know how the things will look until you place them in and then you can you can decide yourself is that what you like or not. Cook it. This one. I'm just gonna do like this. <laughs> Perfect, and then we also got the caviar beads in rose gold. Actually, I had them here even. I'm going to place a couple of them as well. So, three. One, two. Three. And then three on the other side. Ideally, you want to cook your gems first before you do the caviar beads. But because I'm working with the large ones, I should still manage. That's great. Give it a cook. Okay, go back to this one. To be honest, this one looks quite good already I'm just gonna fill up those places with some caviar beads Oh, come on. When your brush is too loaded with the base gel, it's going to make it difficult for the caviar bit to come off. So ideally you want to have enough product on your tip, but as little as possible on your brush. I'm just going to clean my brush so it doesn't have those excess in there. Okay, then count the beads. So I've got three, I've got the right amount. Spread them apart. Actually, it was good. I shouldn't be touching it. <laughs> and then freeze it. Okay, let's grab another tip. So that's this one. I'm 
just gonna do some caviar bits in here, but now we need to use those microscopic ones. So what I usually do is I just paint the line, I want to do it and then pick up the scoop of the caviar beads and kind of with the side of the brush I just move them into the right place. Again you could do it a tiny bit at the time and then um, just cook it so they don't move. I'm just gonna risk it and do it almost full line. Okay, happy with that, freeze it. Happy with that, just leave it alone. So I'm just gonna apply the top coat on this one. Now, I always put the top coat over the gold studs. I not necessarily put the top coat over the crystals, but see, the gold studs, I always do it. This one didn't have enough base, so it didn't attach, but it will stay on with the top coat. And cover this one. Just separate that so it cooks in the right place. Finish this one. So again, pick up a small scoop of the uh, gel, uh, the base gel, so you can stick the caviar beads. Now, I do really, you can also see the difference in between the sizes of, of the caviar beads, like. Be honest, those kind of uh, new art is the ones I think are the most pretty and mainly because of the small beads. Like they just give it different dimension to it. Like I don't know, almost a luxury feel to the new art. But yes, they are extremely time consuming. And quite often, guys, you ask me um, how much I would charge for the things. So you definitely charge for those caviar beads, like um, I would say it will be an, probably an extra like 25 at least pound for the nail arch itself on those type of nails, if not more. Cook it. Grab another one, completely random. I have no clue what I pick up. So this is the thumb. Base gel. And I'm gonna keep it probably pretty simple with the thumb. <laughs> I just straight away base gel on it. <laughs> and then some crystals. So, I am going to keep it very simple on the fan. And more of the paste gel. Clean my finger. No, oh, come on. There we are. 
Okay, place them where you want them. Oh, actually by accident, I have discovered they will fit in better in here. So I wanted to place them just like that, but now I can see it, this rhombus shape, and I do actually prefer those crystals going in this rhombus shape as well. Absolutely, I do prefer that. So let's freeze it. This one, let's move it here. Freeze it. Apply the top coat over this one, just so we can get rid of it. No, actually, no, I can't. I can't. I want this set to be nice and pretty. <laughs> so another row of the caviar beads. Cameraman is probably <laughs> thinking like, gosh, what, what, what is she doing here? Why is she doing it? Sorry, they are just too pretty to don't, just too pretty to don't do it. Can you see guys like what a difference it makes? Just like the simple line. So sometimes I would pick up a single ones from my mixing palette. Okay, I'm gonna freeze it, do I? I'm gonna freeze it now. I, I am really want to be fussy about this set and I'm not gonna rush it, guys. Cook it. Like, no rush at all. Grab another chip. More base gel. And I want crystals here. See, if you place right amount of the base gel, the life is so easy. If you do not place it uh, enough, like the crystals just wouldn't come off. Now, because I want to squeeze in the same amount of the crystals, I need to change this shape. So I'm just going to leave my crystals the way they are, cook them, and then I will just add more. Actually, I, sh I don't have to. No, just skip it. It's fine. Or maybe I will. <laughs> okay, another thin line. Clean your brush, because if it's loaded with the product, it wouldn't work nice. And then slump those bits in there. I actually almost, I, I did myself some simple set because we were so behind with recording, so behind with everything. And now when I'm doing this set, I'm kind of wish it would be on my nails rather than on the tips. I think my next ones are gonna be crazy then. Crystals, caviar beads, definitely. I just forgot how much I love caviar beads. Or I didn't want to annoy cameraman because he was doing the renovations in the salon. <laughs> I wonder if you guys are still watching it. It's terrible, the caviar bits. You have to have a patient of the saint, that's how you say it. Okay, cook it. And then we've got just one more side. Okay, I've got one tip ready. Let me grab it. So the first tip is ready, and this is a um, middle finger. It looks awesome, actually, like really awesome. I, I, so awe to me because of the colors we have used. 
So that's the first one ready. Okay, caviar beats again. <laughs> I should maybe decorate them outside the camera with the caviar beats. Another one. Again, move them. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's see what else we've got in here. So I've got two more. Oh no, that's a middle finger. So that was a ring finger. Okay, so on the middle finger, I'm just gonna go crazy with the crystals, um, just so we can fill up the empty space, which we have created in here. And the crystals I want to go for is this one will fit an amazing. It's just spot on. It's just like it belongs in here. And then we are gonna grab some larger ones. Actually, let me see what I've got in here. Hmm, this is pretty interesting. This is actually very interesting, okay. Now, don't risk it. Because it's a large crystal, freeze it. I love this one. I do really love this one. So simple. So pretty. <laughs> Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Because <laughs> then I could add it more. <laughs> okay, I've got this one. Now, because this crystal is really, really large, and you guys have seen me like wearing crystals for a really long time without of them coming off, the reason for it is like I don't want any catchy beads. So at this moment, this crystal is very insecure in here. What you want to do is apply some base gel around it. Okay. And then also get some sort of transition in between this large crystal. Mm, so what I'm gonna do it is I'm just grab some crystals and I'm gonna place them here. So this crystal almost kind of slide underneath of the triangle. Uh, really important, like if you if you do it that way, uh, things tend to uh, last much better and then I want to add maybe those tiny ones on the side again I have get rid of those sharp edge because part of this crystal slide underneath okay we need to also do it something where I've got my base gel I've got I feel like um, I feel like I have no room in here <laughs> And then we need to add something in here. Let me see what else I've got in there. I actually have some other ones. I've got lots of them. I'm gonna use maybe, maybe this one. I'm gonna need this one. One, two, three, four. I'm not gonna, da um, I would use the teardrop. I think it's really nice. I'm not gonna use it because I will leave it for my nails. <laughs> no, that's a waste of the crystal. That's a waste of the crystal. Absolutely, it is a waste of the crystal. Okay, so I find the solution. I want some small crystals here, cook it. This one, I'm happy with it. I'm just gonna top coat it. And because we've got mainly uh, those metal studs in here, I'm just applying the top coat all over it. Like make sure you, 
almost brush away your top coat from the caviar beads because uh, otherwise it looks kind of like really bulky so same in here i'm kind of shaking my brush and then smoothing out the top coat so the things looks nice i actually the, the more time i spent on this set the more i like it and so many different ideas like imagine now you swap the colors and you do it in white and pink that will look super cool too okay okay what we've got in here so on this one again grab my base gel more crystals and, and I'm also gonna show you what maybe to do no in different video I'm gonna show you in different video can't show you everything in one video guys pretty pretty please you can hit those share buttons um, so like other people can see it as well couple more my thumbnail is so damaged like I have been stressing and I have been picking it up I'm terrible Okay, I should place another one in here. I'm not gonna do it because it will go outside the tip. Oh no, I will do it. I just need something to fill up this space and the crystal would be too large so I just opted for the wee caviar bit in there. This one is just finished cooking. Give it a couple more extra seconds so I do not destroy it. And I'm gonna color this uh, space in because it will otherwise annoy me. So with the Dillarnay brush, I'm just gently going through this empty space. Do not put too much product because obviously there is a base gel as well, so you don't want it to spread too much. And I'm actually going to leave it the fun the way it is. Um, it doesn't need anything else and now here we've got another nail so I want to place quite a lot of crystals on the top and I do really like oh oh okay I did really like a few things so I do really love this crystal and see it is almost made to measure awesome I'm so happy with that <laughs> You know, sometimes the things fit in just perfectly. And I did really like this idea too. I might actually even try it to see what will happen if... If... I do this. Now I need to find the crystal which will fit in that spot. There we are. And another one, there we are. I'm destroying it. No, that doesn't go that way.
Okay, I'll leave it. I need to just clean my dotting tool. It has too much base gel, so my crystals are sticking it too much. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, happy with that. Give it a cook. Grab the thumbnail and apply top coat over it. Of course, we could add more things in there. I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. Like, you know, even this long one. No, I'm actually might do it without of top coat. I wouldn't secure it the way I do it the now uh, for a client because it wouldn't last. Um, but I will just do it for a press on nail. Otherwise the thumb will feel pretty empty. <laughs> so I want this one. Oh, just in here. And I'm not gonna place a top coat over it. Normally, yes, I would. Um, it's just for a quickness. We took quite a long time with it. Now this finger is ready as well. So this is our ring finger. I love the ring finger like so much because it has the caviar beads. <laughs> Base gel, and I need to do something in here. It's just like, I don't like it. So first choice, I will try a small crystal. That's what we'll do. Just a little thing. Okay, let me judge this one. It's okay, but it's too line up. Like I kind of almost missed something on the side. Ideally, I should place a caviar bits in here. There we are. Like I have to place those caviar bits in there. <laughs> At least like going to the first crystal. Can you see the difference, guys? It's so worth it. Okay, freeze it. Grab this one. So I can apply the top coat over this one. Just top coat it. And then I can show you the full set. So grab my caviar bit one, add it just a couple more. I'm trying to be as fast as I can. Is it? This one is top coated and ready. Grab the caviar bit one. Do the last round.
freeze it. Then just top coat it. So again I want to place the top coat where the metal stuff is. Slide it around the crystal, give it nice shakes to it, remove the excess from the caviar beads just so they are not too bulky. Like I think also the way you apply the top coat is really important when it comes to the lasting time of your crystals. Cut with free edge, cook it and then let's check what we have created. Okay, so we've got the thumbnail, Pinky is cooked, so the Pinky comes in here, got four and the last one, so this is actually the number four, so that's the middle finger, there we are. That's the middle finger. Now, once you have uh, done all the crystal work, the wax will leave some... Uh, I actually love this set. It's amazing. Don't you think, guys? Like, it's so rich. Uh, what you have to do is take a wipe and just kind of, like, wipe away the um, wax from the uh, crystals so they look much nicer before you're taking the pictures. I hope you have, guys, really uh, enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was long 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 especially because of the caviar bits but i love this set so much sending you glittery hacks and bye for now